Hi, and welcome back. So a new study out of the Baylor College of Medicine has shown that by combining two over-the-counter supplements, age-related cognitive decline can be slowed or even reversed. Enough offering off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study out of America has got to offer. This is the review of a piece I read that was penned by Homer Salchi that covered a study that was published in the journal Antioxidants, which looked into supplementing with glycine and N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, as a way of improving or reversing age-associated cognitive decline. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. As we grow older, some more gracefully than others, I hope we all aspire to live long and healthy lives, as free as possible from the natural decline of cognitive abilities that sometimes accompanies the aging process. At the Baylor College of Medicine, researchers have been studying the biological underpinnings of age-associated cognitive decline and developing nutritional strategies to promote healthy brain aging. This latest study that was published in the journal Antioxidants showed that supplemented with Glynac improved or reversed age-associated cognitive decline in old mice and improved multiple associated defects in the aging brain. Glynac is a combination of glycine and N-acetylcysteine, more commonly known as NAC, precursors of the natural antioxidant glutathione. These findings are consistent with improvements observed after supplementing older adults with Glynac, as reported in their 2021 human pilot trial, intimating that the findings reported here are likely to apply to humans also. Dr. Rajagopal Sikhar, senior author of the study and professor of medicine, endocrinology, diabetes and metabolism at the Baylor College of Medicine said, my lab has been studying natural aging in older humans and aged mice for over two decades. Our work provides an understanding of how age associated cognitive decline in older humans is linked to glutathione deficiency, increased oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, abnormal glucose metabolism, insulin resistance, inflammation and low levels of nootropic or neuron supporting factors and that supplementing Glynac reverses these defects and improves cognition. Human studies only permit measurements at the whole body level. So in this study, the researchers looked at mice to directly investigate defects in the aging brain. This study is important for a number of reasons. It assesses the reversibility of naturally occurring cognitive decline in aging instead of cognitive decline resulting from introducing gene defects. Increased age is identified as the most important risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, and these naturally occurring defects were studied directly in the brain. Professor Sika and his team worked with three separate groups of mice. The first two were aged naturally side by side until they were 9, 0, 90 weeks old, which is similar to a 70 year old person. The third group consisted only of young mice. Let's now take a look at the protocol that was employed at 90 weeks of age. Groups one and two, that's the old mice, were evaluated for their cognitive abilities, such as remembering the correct route in a maze that leads to a food reward. Then one group of old mice began a Glynac supplemented diet, while the other group, called the old controls, continued their regular diet without any Glynac supplementation. After completing eight weeks, on their respective diets, the animals' cognitive abilities were evaluated once again. Their brains were analyzed to measure specific brain defects that had previously been associated with cognitive impairment in studies by other scientists. The results of these analysis in the old mice supplemented with Glynac were then compared to those of the old control group who had no Glynac and to the corresponding data obtained from the younger mice who were in group number three. Dr. Seeker said, 
we were very excited with the findings of this study. Compared to young mice, old mice had cognitive impairment and many brain abnormalities such as glutathione deficiency, increased oxidative stress, impaired mitochondrial function, elevated inflammation, genomic damage and lower levels of brain supporting factors. Importantly, we found evidence that there was a shortage of transporters responsible for moving glucose, the main fuel for the brain. This problem gets worse because the mitochondria, the engines that burn glucose to provide energy, were also not working well in the brain. The brain requires a large amount of energy for its function, and these defects suggest that the aging brain is starved of oxygen, which could result in cognitive decline. So what were the results? Glynac supplementation in the older mice corrected brain glutathione deficiency. It improved brain glucose transporters, it reversed mitochondrial dysfunction, and it improved overall cognition. In addition, Glynac supplementation reduced oxidative stress, inflammation, and genomic damage, as well as improving nootropic factors. With regard to the future, Professor Seeker said, it is really exciting to see so many improvements in the brain with Glynac supplementation, as it provides evidence that it may now be possible to improve brain health in aging. Going forward, we plan to conduct a large randomized clinical trial in older people to study the effect of Glynac supplementation on improving cognitive and brain health in aging. Previous animal studies from the same lab reported that Glynac supplementation improved similar biological defects in the heart, the liver and the kidneys, and it also increased the length of life. A recently published randomized clinical trial in older humans this time provided evidence of similar improvements in skeletal muscle, blood and the reversal in the hallmarks of aging. The results of this study are consistent with prior studies and advance the field by supporting the beneficial role of Glynac supplementation to specifically promote brain health and support cognitive function in aging. Professor Seeker closed by saying, in addition, our findings may also have implications for Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment because similar defects are also reported in these conditions. We are currently evaluating whether older people with mild cognitive impairment have glutathione deficiency compared to older people without a diagnosis of cognitive impairment. So interesting study. I was now looking into where I could source Glynac from. At present, none of the big three carry it at the moment, and I think I found out why Renew Bioscience and Pro Health Longevity cannot, and why if Do Not Age did carry it, they would not be allowed to send it to the USA. The Baylor College of Medicine, the institution that conducts these Glynac studies, holds the patent for Glynac, which they have licensed to Nestle Health Science. Glynac is marketed in the United States by Nestle Health Science under the name Celtriant Cellular Protect. So where can you buy Glynac from? Well, if you're in the USA, you can buy the Nestle product or you can purchase NEC and glycine separately from companies like Now Foods. But you'll then have to work out what dosage you wish to use. Anywhere else in the world, you can use a company called Youth and Earth, which come from the UK. I know many people have made comments in previous videos saying that they do use this particular company and that they are very happy with them. I have looked into them too, and they will sell you 60 500 milligram capsules of Glynac for £24 and 99 Great British Pence. That's around $30 US, and that's a one month supply. I did reach out to them and they have agreed to a 15% My NMN discount if you use the affiliate link below. That will then take the price down to £21 and 24 pence, which is around $25.50. If you go to the Nestle site and you buy directly from them, a one month supply will cost you $63.99. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you're looking to start supplementing with Glynac, I hope you found it helpful too. Now I've looked at NAC as a standalone supplement and I've uploaded a video about it and it is indeed a very powerful supplement. But when added to glycine to make Glynac, it looks like it's even more 
potent. Now, talking about the company that I mentioned on the on the video, I bought two bottles of Glenac from Youth and Earth. I did buy them. They didn't send them to me for free. Um, easy to order, and I've got to admit, they're shipping to the Middle East from the UK extremely fast. Um, I will start to take these straight after my next blood test, which is around seven to 10 days after this video is. Uh, and then I'll talk about if it's made any differences in my three month review. And also when I do the next blood test after that, we'll see if it's made any differences to my um, my blood stats. Let me know in the comments below, do you take Glynax specifically and have you seen any benefits or do you know someone that takes Glynac and you've seen specific benefits in those people as well. Now, I know this latest study was conducted in mice, but as Andrew Huberman says, when it comes to longevity. Just to take a step back, I know a lot of people out there, are like if there isn't a double blind placebo controlled trial, you know, random, random trial, then why would you ever take something? And then there are a lot of people like David or me or a lot of people out there who think, well, if there are some mouse data or something safe, why wouldn't I try? Right, because when it comes to longevity, nobody wants to be in the control group. 